Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the ball puzzles that you will find in the Tomb of Ilram, which is located on the Zepho planet. There are two I'm going to be showing you in this video. The first one is actually going to give you a force essence, which will increase your maximum force, or at least it'll give you one out of three because you do need three to increase the force. And then the second one I'm going to show you is a little bit more tricky but it's your only way back out of that tomb. So starting off, when you drop into the tomb, you're gonna be thrown into this room that has a ball sat in the corner. There's a few enemies to clear them out first. And there's like a platform in the middle with a little seat to get the ball to sit in. So what I'm gonna do is put a diagram up on screen. It's just a basic picture so that I can explain it better and so that you guys understand it because they can be a little bit tricky. So looking at this image, you have light blue circles numbered one to five and you have a red circle. The red circle is the platform where the ball needs to go to and the numbered circles are the like wind tunnels that allow wind to come into the room. The ball is gonna start just in front of number four and number five. There will be wind coming out of number four. So what you wanna do is you wanna interact with wind tunnel number four. That is going to send the ball all the way around the room, around the outside of the platform, and it's going to break the wall where wind tunnel number two is, but wind tunnel number two doesn't work. Then wind tunnel number one, you're going to need to interact with and turn number four off so that the ball shoots across over and smashes the wall to reveal wind tunnel number five. Then what you need to do is make sure two, three, and four are turned off. Keep one and five switched on so that they both sort of push the ball to the middle of the room. And when the ball is sat in the middle, turn number three on, that's gonna shoot the ball up onto the platform. It will sit in there, the floor is gonna lower, it's gonna open up that middle bit underneath and you can get your force essence. Then what's going to happen from here on out is you're going to go through the tomb, basically work your way around it until you are introduced to the force push. Once you have that ability, it's time to get back out of the tomb and this is where it gets tricky. So coming into this, I'm going to say is the main room. There will be three platforms that you need to sit a ball on. The first ball is already going to be in the room. It's just number two and number three that you need to go and get. In order to get push, you would have already put the first ball in its slot. What you need to do is you need to remove that ball from the slot. You need to push it down the hill and you need to get it into the slot that's on the left hand side. That's going to open up a wind tunnel and it's also going to open up a door. What you need to do is go through that door behind the Guardian, follow the path all the way around, do the bit of climbing, going up the grate. And then when you get to the top of it, you're going to have to squeeze through this narrow path and you're going to have to force push that ball into the main room. Once that second ball is in the room, what you're gonna have to do is push it down the little, I'm gonna say it's a track. It's kind of like a little half pipe. You'll be able to see it on screen now. And when that goes round, what that wind tunnel is gonna do is push the ball up the ramp. It's gonna give it enough speed so that it can get to the other side. And then you need to force push it into that slot that's on that ledge with you. Then what you need to do to get the third ball is go back to the room that's got the ball swinging in this like holder. And you need to climb up top to where the wind tunnel is that you can interact with. You need to turn that fan off and you need to just force push the ball until it smashes into what you'll see on screen now. That will drop the ball and then you push it into the bottom part of that wall. The wall's going to crumble. The ball will go into the main room. So the top slot that you originally used to traverse like, and make your way through the tomb, you're not going to need to use that. So that third ball, you're going to push onto the little half pipe track. And what that's going to do is send it through to the first wind tunnel because when you put the second ball in place on that ledge from the first wind tunnel, it opened up another one. So you get the ball onto the little half pipe track. The wind tunnel sends it across. And if you don't do anything else, it's just going to keep going around in circles. So what you need to do is actually climb up the grate to where the ball is sat underneath and you need to wait for the ball to come across. And this is extremely hard to explain, but you'll see it all on screen. When the ball comes across, you need to force push it 
into that final slot. Once you get it into that slot, the platform you are standing on with the ball is going to lift up. Once it lifts up, you can break back into the elevator. You can then use your push on the final ball that's going to roll down the hill, slot in, and it basically reactivates the elevator. You go stand on the platform. That is you back out of the tomb. And that was an absolute nightmare to explain, but I really hope you guys understand it. And I hope the gameplay helped make it easier to understand. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments as always. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.